Bienvenidos a WrestleMania con el luchador. El señor. El protector del mundo. Brian Stoutor. What is up, everybody? It's time for some Brian WrestleMania. Uh, as far as opening hangy, yeah, we're going to go keep on this one. We've got a little uh, crag right there. Gain one life. Uh, we've got some... Uh, some nice mana fixing and a nice little oblivion ring over there. So, oh yeah, I'm going to take this. It's a really nice proactive hand. Not proactive. Um, usually, you, you want some cheap artifacts in here with Breon because we do have some a little bit higher cost of creatures. So, it always helps to get into a mana crypt or a soul ring or something like that. And as far as our turn one play, let's go ahead and get the crag down, gain a life. We're going to gain a life and then. I'm gonna go mana crypt into Soul Ring. Man, I'm I'm gonna hold off right now, and then that may sound kind of crazy, but um, I cannot tell you how many times Soul Ring and mana crypt into Soul Ring has made my opponent scoop. <laughs> and I'm just being 100% because I like to say, you know, I want to keep it. So I'm gonna slowly deploy our fast mana out. I mean, I know that's that's crazy. It sounds weird, but hey, man, it, I I try and record these videos, and it happens a lot. Uh, you'd be amazed. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this uh, Bloodstained Mire down. Let's get this uh, get the Soul Ring down, and then we'll go and pass the turn. But we are playing Breon Stout Arm. Yes, Life Link, one red mana, sacrifice a creature other than Breon, then it deals damage equal to that sacrifice creature's power to target player. So basically, Breon's going to pick it up and throw it at our opponent. Playing against Titania, Protective Argoth. When it enters the battlefield, you return target land from your graveyard to the battlefield, and let's go and get this going. Target land from the graveyard to the battlefield, and then put a 5-3 green elemental creature token on the battlefield. Let's go and crack this Bloodstained Mire, get into a plateau, put that into play untapped. And then probably going to go and stick a nice, uh, get a nice little Breon down. Ooh, Nova Chaser. Okay, let's go Mountain, and then get in some Breon. Alright, come on down, Breon. <laughs> I always love whenever I cast him out of the command zone. I just love thinking about him running down and like sliding into the ring. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels good. Oh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player chooses a color until the end of turn. Lands tap for the mana produced of the... Lands tap for mana produced... Lands tap for mana produced mana of the chosen color instead of any color. Okay. Yeah, let's go and choose white on that, because I think we can get into some... If I'm correct, that should be some... Uh... Yeah. Okay, so we can tap right there, get into some O-Ring. Sorry, whenever I see that card, man, like, I just... Immediately my brain shuts down. I'm like, oh... <laughs> Can't do it, man. Um... Let's go ahead and... Let's get into some Mana Crypt. So what we can do with, with Nova Chaser, it's a 10, 10-2. Ten and there's going to be a, uh, oops, it helps if I tap for red mana. Oh, duh. <laughs> yeah, we, we had the Hall of the Gemstone up there. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, but the Hall of the Gemstone, man. Mm. Talk about a card that just, my brain shuts down. Just like if you're playing any type of color, I forgot what it was. But it was just like, ugh. it's almost just like uh, Blood Moon Light sometimes. Okay, so get the Mana Crypt trigger and choose Tails on this bad boy. Won well, the flip one for one on our Mana Crypt triggers. Let's see what we get into. Sacrifice your... Search, sacrifice your library, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Cosmic Larva, okay. Let's go. Let's go for a Nova Chaser right now. So we've got one, two, three, four. And in response to the champion and elemental trigger, we can activate Breon in response to that. So we're going to sacrifice another creature. We're going to choose our opponent. And then we're going to Ray Mysterio 609 this Nova Chaser into our opponent's face. Boom shakalaka. Drop 26. And uh, now we're good. We're not going to champion the elemental. You're already in the graveyard. And then, yeah, we'll go and pass the turn. But yeah, this is where, like, you, it, as far as Brian goes, you're running a bunch of uh, one-sided creatures. So you can kind of get into, you can see we're at 54 and our opponent's at 26. So, um, you know, that lifelink, when you start chunking some 10 creatures, it gets pretty crazy. All right, so we're going to choose Tails on our Mana Crypt trigger. One the flip, uh, two for two on our Mana Crypts. Chromantic Lantern. Um, let's go ahead and 
Gain control of his commander. <laughs> Always feels so cheap doing this. <laughs> but it feels so good, too. Alright, so we're going to have his commanders come in hot. <laughs> we're going to have our opponent stop hitting himself. And then we're going to uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin this uh, titanium back to our opponent's face. Boom, there we go. And let's go and get down a Chromantic Lantern. Yeah, then we'll go and pass the turn. All right, now, as far as next turn goes, we're looking at... We can get down Cosmic Larva and hit him for 7. That'll drop him down to 9. We're going to choose Tails on this Mana Crypt Trigger. Lost the flip, 1 for 3. I mean, 2 for 3 on our Mana Crypt Triggers. Get into Sunforger. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Let's get into Sunforger. Let's get that down. 1, 2, 3 right there. Now, we, we can equip a Sunforger and then unequip it and gain control of his commander again, but um, let's just get into some Cosmic Larva this time. <laughs> I want our opponent to do something. <laughs> okay, so we're going to activate Breon. We're going to People's Elbow this guy right here. Okay. Also, on a side note, guys, if you want your very own Lucha Mask, just like Breon, head over to mtgotraders.com. That's where he gets all of his wrestling stuff. He likes to wear his mask when he's over there, too. But yeah, he likes to shop in his mask sometimes. But, you know, if you notice, if you look down in the corner, you see a mask man. And you see the braids right here, the dreadlocks. Ooh, we got a Woodfall Primus. All right, man. Coming in hot for five. And let's go ahead and... Okay. We're going to choose white... Yeah, we're going to choose white. Mana Crypt Trigger, choose Tails on this one. Lost the flip. Get into Windswept Heath. Okay, I'm going to put this down here. And we're going to equip Sun... We can go and equip the Sunforger on there for three. So we're looking at one, two, three. And we have to condemn. So we can condemn that Woodfall Primus, get it into the graveyard. And then what we can do, since we have Sunforger on here and it's an instant speed, uh, what we can do is gain control of, well, yeah, we may hold off on the Condemn, because we can gain control of the Woodfall Primus, depending if he swings in with both creatures. Um, we can gain control with the instant, uh, grab the reins, gain control of his Woodfall Primus and swing in for lethal, if, unless he gets any other creatures out there. Ooh, it gets in a Dryad Arbor, okay. Yeah, because then if we sacrifice it, he'll get the Persist Trigger back on his side of the battlefield. We can gain control of his commander, activate our, uh, crack our fetch land, and get into a 5-3 elemental. Yeah, I think I may do that. So we gain control of his commander, crack the fetch land, get into an elemental, we choose red, and then we can sacrifice his commander back to his hand. Alright, so you gain 7 life, search your library for a creature card, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your library. Okay. But that does kind of complicate it now that it's at 16. But if we choose red for the Hall of the Gemstone, then we'll be able to... If we get into one of our big artifact creatures, and we can get that up and running. Oh, I forgot, we've got Chromantic Lantern, so we can get around Hall of Gemstone. The excuse me, sorry about that, guys. Lands tap. Okay, yeah. So we can get around with that Chromantic Lantern right there. Oh, we got some Baru action coming in. Alright, man. I can get behind that. Okay, so he's not swinging in. Um, what do we want to do? Because we can unequip Sunforger right now. And cast... We can get rid of all of the gems. Yeah, let's go and do that. So let's unequip right now. So we've got um, white and then red. Oh, duh. The green was chosen. God, man, I, I tell you, man. Sorry about that. Okay, so we need to... Let's go and unequip the Sunforger. So we've got um, white and then red. 
And he has no artifacts, but let's go, um... If we go disenchant, that'll blow up his graveyard. I mean, not his graveyard, the all the gemstones. Yeah, let's go disenchant. Cast it on the Hall of the Gemstones. We're still going to get the Hall of the Gemstones trigger. And then as far as the turn goes, we'll just go and choose... Um, just going to choose white. Choose Tails on this bad boy. Won the flip. Volcano Hellion. We chose white, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go and equip the Sunforger on there. Looking at three. One, two, three... Okay, and then we'll go and pass the turn. So now that the gemstone's gone, we can get into the Hellion that'll pop him for 6, drop him down to 10. Then we still have the gain control off the Sunforger. So 6, drop him down to 10. Then we can gain control of the Woodfall Primus that'll drop him down to 4. So we'll need to get in at least one more creature. Ooh, Parallel Lives. Oh, man, I love some Parallel Lives. That's a fun card. Okay, we got Baru coming in hot. Now with Baru, whenever a land, whenever a force enters the battlefield, green creatures get plus one, plus one, and gain trample. Right, so he's swinging in hot with the Woodfall Primus. And we can Volcano Hellion that Baru if we want to, and activate it. Alright, we're going to choose Tails on our Mana Crypt. One the flip. Act of Treason, okay. How do we want to sequence this? So, his. I'm trying to think about the best way to do this. So, he's at 16. We grab Baru, swing in, he'll kill a creature. We can get into the Volcano Hellion and activate that. Yeah, let's get into some Volcano Hellion. Let's go red. We're going to hit that Baru right there. Yeah, I just want to take care of that right now, because if he gets into land and gets some trample action, that may kind of choose a number. Let's go four. And then let's go ahead and activate Breon. Ray Mysterio, this bad boy. <laughs> Pick up that Volcano Hellion, drop him down to ten. Okay. And then we can save the act of treason for next turn. Yeah. So if we get into just one more creature. Oh, he's got a death he's got a acidic slime on top. Um Yeah, so we at least have the Woodfall Primus. He's gonna get the enter the enter the battlefield trigger on there, but we can at least uh for two red, two white. Yeah, we can unequip, gain control. But I think, hopefully, we'll to, if we can get another creature, we should be able to close it out. But uh, with that, uh, his parallel lives in his hand, I think. But maybe he has something else he wants to do? I mean, because he could have gotten into an extra elemental right there. Okay, parallel lives. Okay, now now we're getting somewhere. We're getting into the fun zone right here. And he's the extra planar lens. That's gonna it's uh, gonna get into a lot of fun. Okay, so he holds he holds off right there. So okay, so we unequip Sunforger. We got Boros Shaman for damage. Yeah, okay, that's right. That's we got it. So unequip red and then white. We can Boros Charm for damage. Yeah, there we go. Four damage up top, that drops it down to six. And then we're going to active treason on the Woodfall Primus, and that'll pop him for six. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Lost the flip. Thank you, Mana Crypt. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the. Let's go and fire this uh, grab right there. And then we're. Yes, once again. I just love Ray Mysterio 619. Yeah, we're going to Ray Mysterio that Woodfall Primus. Alright, guys. Yeah, close it out right there. Man, I love playing me some Brion. Alright, guys. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.